<laughs> straight up. <laughs> Warning you straight up. This guy did an event last night. He's going on a little sleep, so he's going to be extra, extra today. So hang in there for Should today's show. Should I tell him show. what I was talking about? I'm not going to tell them what I was no, talking about. No, we'll just let them see if they can. I think eventually they're going to catch they're on. They're going to catch on. It's just yeah. going right. to, just because over time, something's happening. Uh, uh, good morning, Cincinnati. Yeah. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Jen Dalton. And we thank you for joining us on Arc Cincinnati <laughs> for this Friday. And I have a question for you. All right. How do Cincinnatians celebrate just pretty much anything? What's that? How's that? With beer. That's true. Lots of beer. Uh, so just ahead, we are going to chat with local German beer experts. They call themselves those German guys. They're great. And we're going to talk to them about some beer events happening around the tri-state. And a return of Dance Party Friday. <gasps> we're going to salsa. Oh. We're going to salsa. We're going to I'm going to get my head moving. OK, Jen is apparently ready for that. Uh, we have the folks from Salsa on the Square here in studio <laughs> to show us some dance moves, though Jen already looks prepared. But before we get to all that, let's see what's brewing in the tri-state. Oh. I'm ready to salsa. Get after. Get out. Stretch it out, stretch it, stretch it. Don't want to do what I'm going to do a deep lawn. Like you can't yeah, even see how deep my lunge is right now. And oh, frankly, you should. That feels real good right there. But stay hydrated. Get yourself all stretched out. Get ready. Those flying piggies are going to be heading out on the course. Flying Pig Weekend is finally here. Yes, it is. And there are there, there are races every single day for <laughs> yes. the next three days. Uh, Proctor and Gamble Fitness Expo kicks everything off. It's free at the Duke Energy Convention Center from noon to 7. You don't have to be running to go either. The 50 West Mile, though, is the first race of the weekend and is the second leg of the TQL Beer Series. This year, it's back at the original starting line on West Pete Rose Way. Start time is 7 tonight. All runners and walkers who finish the race will be treated to a chili cheese coney. Afterwards. That sounds like an interesting thing at Pete after right after her run. Uh, and if any of our ARC viewers are running in any yeah. of the races this weekend, we want to know. We want you to send us videos and pictures and all the things. And maybe on Monday, we'll, I was gonna say, uh, we'll celebrate you on Monday. Uh, you know, show off you of them and whatnot. That'd be fun. Yeah. I am more, I, I, honestly, I, I'm. The You're worried about the heat. I am worried about the. I'm, I'm far more worried about the heat than I am the rain. And I know there's a chance of rain. Tara was telling us for like the next seven days, you know, or something like that. Uh, sounds like the, the, Biggest chance right now is probably today or later on today. Um, but I know it, it's funny because for spectators, there you know you, you look at the temperature and you're like that looks that looks great. It's right. you know it's going to be you know 60s to start to be mid 70s to end. That sounds delightful. But not for runners. But if you're if you're running and it's a little humid and it's 70 when you're on mile 20, that's uphill. I, yeah, I mean Phew. yeah, that could be a little rough. And Good everybody, everybody who's running that full thing, they know and they're hydrated. They know to hydrate and all already. The things, yeah. But still. Got me a little worried. Uh, Cincinnati Reds are back in town this weekend. They're going to take on the Baltimore Orioles first pitch tonight at 610. And if you are in town for the game, you might want to check this out. Did you see this yet? The team is adding a larger than life pinball game to the first star fan zone. No, I have not seen this. Our partners at the Cincinnati Business Courier say the oversized game pinball. will be located on the plaza level along the first base side. It'll allow, you know, fans will like pull a big old plunger kind of thing and yeah. that'll swing an oversized bat. Hopefully uh, a few home runs sit out of the park there. The Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum says they hope to host pinball tournaments and then they'll post about the winners on social media and all of those I kinds of things, which, which is kind of fun. I, I'm very interested. I haven't really had a good look at how the layout is no. going to work or anything like that. So I think that'll be that'll be pretty fun as I love well. That. So and I'm glad the Reds are back home this weekend because frankly, it was a little rough on the road. Oh, um, there's the picture. Oh, there we there go. We, we go. Get to see it. So, oh, that's neat. Uh, I can't can't yeah. quite see. Yeah, but you hit those home runs, they go right up the trail. That looks like a good time. That looks like a great time. And again, hopefully some home cooking once they're back at Great American Ballpark because, uh, yeah, what they do, lost four of six, I think, on the road. Something like that. So get home, get well, win some games, and if you're going down, maybe play some oversized pinball. That pin sounds ball. really, really cool. I'd like to it check does. that out. It okay, does. after a wave of public support, the Cincinnati Red Bikes, from the Red to the Red Bikes, sure. will be back on the streets. Red Bike will fully reopen a week from Monday. The bike rental stations had to shut down back in January because of a lack of funding. A fundraising campaign raised the $500,000 the program needed to start back up. Now, Fifth Third Bank donated $10,000 to fund Red Bike for the next year, and an anonymous resident also donated $10,000 towards wow. the cause. There are dozens of bike stations in downtown, over the Rhine, northern Kentucky, and around the University of Cincinnati. Pretty have cool you ever, Have you ever done the Red Bike? Have you ever been out on a Red Bike before? 
I have not done it. I, I haven't either. I, I have not. I have not done it. I guess those who enjoy it enjoy it a lot. I know. Oh, without. Or what are we seeing here, Tina? Were those were those, those red bike the red bike locations? locations I okay. think. Um, for those who who um, I guess frequent them, it's a very good thing they got the the economic support they needed to keep them because it looked like they were going to go away for it a while. It did. It did. And um, yep. But, you know. That's neat that they look like very happy people there and that a uh, private that, donor actually <laughs> threw in picture. some money. That's yeah, neat. for sure. Okay. Well, it's billed as the most exciting two minutes in sports. What are we talking about? Well, it's got to be the Kentucky Derby, of course. Now, the Kentucky Derby is this weekend. More than 250,000 people will be in Louisville for the Derby and the Oaks races. But you don't have to drive all the way to Louisville. There are plenty of places to watch right here in the Tri-State. Turfway Park has a massive event planned for tomorrow. So run for the roses party happening at Newport on the levee too, including live music and a petting zoo. The North Bend Yacht Club in Delhi has a derby party plan and Braxton Brewing. They've got some big fun going on in Covington. They will be showing the race on their big screens. But don't worry, we didn't forget about this either. It's not only Derby Day, it also just happens that the Kentucky Derby lines up with cool. Star Wars Day. Where are you? What did you? Oh, sorry. I made something special. Wait, is it when a the Derby's on Star Wars? OK, day. we're going to need a real tight shot of that right now. So is if you got Leo Derby flopping? Day, is my Leah flopping? Or my is Luke? your Leah flopping? That yeah. sounds like something you should probably see somebody about. <laughs> um, but no, it looks it, it, it's, it's stood up perfect. We asked you on, on the Facebooks this morning because it's Derby Day and it's Star Wars Day. If you had to name a racehorse, say in a galaxy far, far away, what would that name be? And We've you guys are delivering. Ones. There are some amazing ones on yes. our Facebook page. So Jennifer says, Ewok, now he run. Oh, that, I'm Ewok, not, I'm not kidding. now he run. That might be my favorite one. Jennifer, that is hilarious. That one is over the top fantastic. Christopher goes with Kessel Run. Of course, they would have to run the Derby in under five parsecs. Five, Christopher, not just 12, but five <laughs> parsecs. That's a good one, too. That, that, that's a natural go-to. Okay, Rock. you're going to have to help me with this one because I don't get it. It's a, it's a, it must be a deep Star Wars reference. Jennifer, or Mary, excuse me, says my friend Wicket. Okay, Wicket. Wicket is an Ewok. Wicket is perhaps the oh, most Wicket famous. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot the name. Famous of the Ewoks. Right. The most beloved of the yes. Ewoks, if you will. I like that one very much. David goes classic. Uh, it is simply Luke. I am your father. I could see that as an actual racehorse name. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Um, and, and wait, is that say Fathier? Is Fathier was that a, was that a typo or was that an actual horse reference? Oh, it's. Oh my gosh, David! I was so locked into the actual Star Wars that. phrase that I did not catch what you had done there at first. David, you are a flippin' genius. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Well, and this one's genius as well. Ryan Henry, our director upstairs, says. Never tell me the odds, which if I correct me if I'm wrong, it's a Han Solo. It's a Han, line. It's a Han yeah. Solo. It's a Han Solo. Ryan, that's a, that's extremely well done. You <laughs> had a very good one, too. And before we go, I want you to, to let everybody know what your, yours was. Uh, I came up with Obi-Run Kenobi because they're running. Obi-Run Kenobi. <laughs> OK, my, mine that I that I came up with, I liked Wookiee by a hair. <laughs> I like that. By a hair. Anyway, if you want That's to jump fun. on and add yours to the list, go to that new ARC Facebook page and by all means participate. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.